let's do a little quantitative comparison question with this geometry. We have a circle, we have a triangle drawn inside the circle, and it's marked that the central angle is 60 degrees. We're told that the radius of the circle is six, so we should really copy this down onto our scratch paper and mark that radius as six. And our job is to compare the length of arc ABC with the value six, which happens to be the radius. So what do we know about that length of an arc? Well, the arc is the portion on the outside of the circle. It's a piece of the circumference. So that arc, ABC, is a piece of the circumference. How much of the circumference is it? We can find out using the central angle. The central angle is 60 degrees, and that's a portion of the 360 total central degrees in the circle. Think of it this way. If I cut 60 degrees out of 360, that's one sixth. So this is kind of like cutting a pizza into six slices and trying to find the length of the crust of one slice. Well, what is the circumference then? Circumference of a circle equals two pi times the radius. In this case, our radius is six that means it's 12 pi. Now we're all ready to go and solve a simple proportion. This slice is 1 sixth of the circle. That means the arc length of ABC is 1 sixth of 12 pi. So that's our proportion, part to whole, part to whole. Quick cross multiplication, 12 pi is six times that arc length. And so our arc length is going to equal two pi. Here's the quantitative comparison part of things. How does two pi compare to six? You could use your on-screen calculator and an estimation for pi that you have memorized, but you don't really need that step. We know that pi is approximately 3.14 or a little bit bigger than three. So column A is gonna be bigger than two times three Column A is exactly equal to two times three, column B. And so column A is greater. The correct answer is A.